Hi again, welcome to the garage. I'm Pierre. Hi, I'm Phil. I'm Robert. And Phil's from Phil's Projects. Uh, we re regularly meet, uh, you know, for um, you know doing projects and things. But uh, today, Philip just came in and uh, we made a little video about uh, some maintenance we do on the lake. Uh, there, I had a few issues with the lake, and we had to um, go in depth a little bit. Um, the main subject today will be the taper attachment. The lake has got a particular uh, type of taper attachment on this one, and. Uh, while we were dismantling it, uh, it's easy. Uh, it's going to be easy enough to show you some of the details of the, this particular type, how it works. So, uh, not much uh, more, like you usually say. Hey, that's enough babbling. Yeah, we'll be going into the uh, demonstration of this uh, particular type of uh, attachment. I think that might be, be interesting for some of you. Let's go and get at it. Okay, since we're, we're doing some maintenance, uh, my friend Philip and I, on the late, because we had a few, a few issues with the uh, stability in the cuts. So uh, we'll take advantage of uh, the fact we mounted all this uh, part to show you how the uh, taper attachment works on this one. This one is the uh, taper attachment is permanently attached to the, um, the cross line. And just by, I'll give you a few details about uh, how it works. Um, the uh, main connection here makes that uh, this part will start sliding whenever it's required to do tapers. Now, I'll just, uh, okay, these bolts are loose, and this member there, this big uh, steel member there, is adjustable as an angle here. See, if you go in one direction, it will give an angle in this direction. You go into the other direction, you get the angle into the other direction. When you want to, you know, let's say cut a taper, tighten those screw up, and just this here is detached from this part here. This is the part that will move the, uh, the cross light. Here you go. This is going back and forth. Just the, uh, the front here not uh, working. You know, it's not, okay, that's it. But this will drive the cross light by being ad adjusted there. Just a second, I'll try to line this up. There's this pin here. See this, this part that slides along there is related to this with this pivot here. And maybe another detail you want to see about this. There you go. This comes out. These are um, Gibbs adjustments. There's, there's a Gib there. <laughs> That's dirty. There's a Gib there that makes sure that along this rectified plate there, you know, big uh, steel uh, chunk there, everything is very, very uh, accurate and very, uh, you know, no backlash. And, one, uh, one of the two directions because the accuracy of this movement will determine the accuracy of your tapers and also the future operation of the lathe itself. So this going down there and I'll, I'll be moving it down right in front of this and this will go right in there and as uh, it needs to be lined up a little bit but you, you get the principle. This is going to be uh, fixed there. Also, another, uh, you know, the other part about this here is the lead screw here is uh, mounted on the truss bearing here. There's a, some kind of a bushing there with the fill, uh, you know, treads in there that has to be adjusted so the truss bearing is um, properly adjusted for minimal backlash. There's a little bit of backlash that's going to happen there. Uh, in one direction only. Once you take in the backlash, it's just like any other uh, other machine or any, any any other part of the machine. So this, when the, when the tape the, the taper moves, I, I, don't, I don't know if I can uh, line. Yeah, I, in, I think it fell in. Yeah, I think so. This bolt here will get in there. Make sure everything pivots together. This is all lined up now. And let me let me, let me try to give you more angle there. And you'll be seeing. Okay. If I, you know, Philip is holding, uh, I don't know if you see the sand down there, but this, by moving here, let's say, let's say this, this is going to be uh, fixed and this is going to start moving. You see the, uh, the cross slide is attached. Oops. We fell out. Yeah, we fell out because the, uh, the, the screw is not totally. Don't need screw them, but it's okay. So in order to make proper tapers with this uh, attachment, this uh, bar that uh, Philip was holding before has to be attached to this block here. There we go. 
bolted there solidly. This block on the waist can be moved if you untie these bolts, it can be moved back and forth like this here, depending upon where your uh, taper needs to be made. Because the um, overall range on the taper attachment here is about uh, 12 inches roughly or uh, 30 centimeters. So uh, if the taper has to occur, it, uh, you know, you have a shaft, you want to make a taper on it, depending upon what zone, you can displace this thing here. Once everything is set where you want it, this gets tied up. There we go. And you make sure that is tight. If it if this moves, you're uh, you're going to be uh, thrown off. So now this bar in the near, underneath here stays uh, stays put according to the angle of this this bar here. The attachment will give you uh, you know the, the taper you need uh, adjusted according to this. Ah, okay, still recording. Yeah, we're still recording. Uh, the bushing here. Uh, I'm using a tapered tap like this here because sometimes, you know, you might have a, a few problems moving out of the bushing in here. So I just get it in there a little bit and just engage very lightly a tapered tap. Easier to uh, pull it out because it's because there's no there's no loose, no slack in there. It's pretty uh, it's pretty slight fit. Also, next part of this, if you come in the front, the other business end of the uh, of this deal uh, I could I could remove it there but I have to do uh, just remove the the backing for the other late and I'm not uh, you know moving out the old shop for that here you've got a spline that you, you probably can see into the shaft here and this is the uh, the part with the dial in the front and while this turns it's got the uh, key in there which will go into the uh, spline there and you will be uh, following the movement of the uh, this uh, this uh, screw the lead, the lead screw there, uh, the gears you see right down here is the gear that's attached into the uh, the carriage that will uh, you know actuate the uh, movement for the uh, cross light. So by turning the the little gear there, you'll have uh, action on the on the cross light. This is to show the detail of the split nut. The split nut is uh, going onto the uh, this uh, long screw there that uh, just le leaks, links the uh, cross light to the carriage and this adjustable to make up for a backlash. The principle of how the uh, adjustment there is done, you, those two screws are, uh, let's say, you fix them and after that, Philip's going to install the bearing inside of this. Okay. There's, a little, uh, there's a little place, there's a little groove there and you got onto the the uh, cross line, you got a screw that will go and push onto the bearing there to make the adjustment possible between the two, the two uh, nuts. So uh, you, you eliminate the backlash on this. This is uh, details for that part. This is another view of, uh, see this rectified uh, piece of steel that goes right on top of there to the U block in there. I'll show you the underside of this just to kind of supply you with a little bit more details. Get it in the right spot. The underside of this is a set of dovetails on each side here. That will fit into, let's get in there. Okay, not going to be the most obvious uh, operation to do. The chunk of metal is pretty heavy. Okay, let's get this in there. It's going slowly. There we go. It's in. Now I gotta install that uh, keyway. Not keyway, but uh, anyway, that doobly doo part. Yeah, guess what? Something's my way. It's getting there. Okay. Good. Install the blocking screw. I'll be going to the other side and try to adjust the either side and the other the screw on the other side too. So this has to be adjusted so there's no you know back and forth movement in this direction. 
you know, to uh, get a certain stability. That's uh, roughly how this uh, type of taper attachment works. I think you should be uh, you should be pretty well aware, you know, of uh, how it works now. The uh, only thing when you um, do not use the taper attachment, make sure that uh, this stays very stable and normally you put it right uh, very close to zero um, if any movement occurs while you're uh, you know do a normal uh, light operation this will just drive you off you know as uh, as you know according to the angle that's set there so put it to zero make it tight make it sure that uh, that doesn't move that will save you uh, maybe aggravations so that's about the, that's about the wave functions Bailey approved. <laughs> Daisy approved. Hey, they all sound the same. Yeah, they, they all bark. How we? How we approved? <laughs> they all bark. Eh? How, how can I say that? How we approve? Yeah. yeah. How we in two words? Yeah, here you go. How we approved? Yeah, yeah. I think we are approved. That's a. Uh, that, that's the French English accent there. No, that's that's uh, the type of uh, Harold's jokes. Oh, oh. How are we? Okay. <laughs> cut it off. Cut it off, cut it off, cut it off.